Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you some cool tricks that you can do with the echo effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Make sure to leave a like on if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet, and go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. So I've got a couple of clips on the timeline, and one thing that I want to note is that all of these clips are tripod shots or shots with no camera movement in them. There's only movement of the objects within them. And also note that there's a contrast between light and dark in these shots as well. So I'm going to open up the effects panel on the right hand side and search for one called echo. You should find it in the time video effects folder. Now click and drag that effect onto whatever clips you desire. And by default, it'll just look like your clip got a little brighter. But let's go into the effects control panel and see what's going on and what we can change. So what the echo effect does in simple terms is it stacks the video clip on top of each other however number of times that you tell it to at whatever time interval that you tell it to and then it allows you to blend them in different ways. So by default it's using add mode which is why we get this bright feel but there's a couple cool options in here like maximum and minimum that allow you to blend only the bright or dark parts. So maximum will only take the bright parts and minimum will only take the dark parts. And when you have a clip with a decent amount of contrast and no camera movement, what ends up happening is you can play around with some really cool cloning and ghosting trail effects on your subjects. So for this girl walking along the sidewalk, it's the perfect shot to add one, two, three, however many number of echoes you want and just adjust the time interval so that you can space them out however far you want. So you can make really close trails for a cool abstract motion effect, or if the scene and the shot allows it, you can spread them out much further and have like an infinite clone trail walking behind her. Now, this is not perfect when you do it this way in Adobe Premiere. It's kind of a quick and dirty trick because you can see her umbrella disappears because it's too bright. And if I switched it to maximum, you can see only her umbrella is there floating and the background is the only thing that stays constant. So it is definitely better suited as an abstract effect. Another control that we haven't adjusted yet is the starting intensity and decay. So starting intensity, I like to leave at one. That's just the opacity of the original clip. However, decay, you can turn it down so that each duplication or clone is a little bit less strong in opacity. So I can make this more like 70 and you can see as it gets further back, things disappear. So that's cool for motion trailer ghosting effects as well. Here's another example and you can see I'm using seven echoes at 0.26 seconds ahead with just a slight decay on each clone. And that's one thing I'll point out as well is it might take a little bit for your echo to start if you're using a negative time. That means that you have to wait for the clip to at least pass negative half a second for it to have some information to stack on top of. So if I were to have had this at a negative time interval, you can see the echo kind of appears as that happens. So that's up to you on how you want it to start. Do you want it to already be there and slowly finish or do you want it to start as the clip starts playing? Here's another example where I'm using the maximum blending mode instead of minimum to create some bright trails of motion. So this looks especially cool with slow motion shots, tripod shots where there's people moving and the background is staying still, and shots with high contrast so you can play around and create some interesting marching clone effects. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.